What are the food truck insurance requirements? We're gonna break them down in this video right now. Hi, Ryan Hanley here, founder and president of Rogue Risk, where we do insurance differently, specifically by giving you knowledge and information to make the right insurance decision. Now, when it comes to the requirements of insurance for a food truck operator, that is going to be determined by two uh, entities. One is gonna be your state, and primarily your state is gonna require you to have uh, a commercial auto policy. Personal auto policy is not gonna work for a food truck. You're gonna need a commercial auto policy. And then if you have employees, you're gonna be required to have workers comp. Those are gonna most likely be the two required insurance policies that you absolutely have to have required by the state. Certain municipalities, certain towns, cities, etc., may also require you to have a surety bond, which uh, we can help you with here at Rogue if you need surety. We do that all the time. But surety bonds are separate from insurance, but they are sometimes required. So if you need, you may need surety bonds as well. Oftentimes, not very expensive though, just so you know. Uh, surety is usually not expensive for food trucks. Um, so that's really the, the kind of public or you know, city government level entity requirements. The larger requirements are going to come from, say, a campground or an event or a conference center or or the town, if, if they're your customer. Whoever, wherever you're trying to park or if you're trying to be part of an event or you're doing um, one of those kind of parking lot setups where a bunch of food trucks get together, uh, all those things, whoever owns that property is going to have insurance requirements and they're most likely going to add in addition to comp, auto, potentially a bond they're gonna require as well a general liability policy. So that's either gonna come as a package or as a business owner's policy. And so you're gonna need general liability as well. And they may also require, and we've seen this more and more, a commercial umbrella as well. Now, what's gonna happen is, so that you understand, is both the uh, whoever you're working for, they're gonna hand you insurance requirements. And if they don't, you should ask for them. If they say, hey, we need to see your insurance, say, What's, what am I required to have? You can ask that question and they should have like a one page sheet or an email they can send you that will break down. You need a million dollars in general liability. You need $500,000 in uh, employer's liability on your workers comp. You need $500,000 minimum commercial auto policy, etc. Once you have those requirements, you go to your insurance professional. And obviously we would love it if it was us here at Rogue Risk. We're happy to help you. We work in all 50 states. Um, you take those insurance requirements and you make sure you validate with your insurance professional that you have the proper coverages. And then once you do, you then send that person who's requesting your insurance a certificate of insurance. And that certificate is basically your ticket to entry from an insurance standpoint, from an insurance requirement standpoint to get on that job, get into that event, you know, sell on that street or in that city, et cetera. Uh, so that's how the insurance requirements work for a food truck. If you have questions, if you need help, uh, we're happy to, we, we'd love to work with you here at Rogue Risk. We have a food truck program. We have multiple carriers in that program, so we can match you with coverage and pricing. Uh, and the best way to get a hold of us is by phone, 518-960-6600. That's 518-960-6600. You can email us at rogue at roguerisk.com. You can visit us online at roguerisk.com, or I'm sure there's a button or a link somewhere around this video that will let you contact us. Whichever way you choose, we look forward to working with you.